What I want most for Antonio is for him to be able to take care of himself to the greatest extent possible. And I'd also like for the community around him to be more understanding and more aware and more welcoming and more inclusive. When Antonio was four years old, he was diagnosed with developmental delays and sensory issues. The doctor said he would need a lot of help. Physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, tutoring. They said he would never go to college. I tried to enroll him in the private faith-based school I attended as a child. They said they didn't have the teacher training or the financial resources to educate him. I had visited and talked with 23 private faith-based schools in the Bay Area within a 40-mile radius of my home, 21 Christian schools and two Catholic schools, and none of them were able to take Antonio. They said he was better off in public school where they were required by law to educate kids with special needs. Each year that Antonio was in public school, the percentage of time he spent in a segregated classroom only for students with special needs kept growing. And I was told that this was the appropriate placement for my son. I learned that this was actually against the law. At church, Antonio was excluded from activities such as Bible studies and mission trips. Everywhere we went, I pushed for inclusion with his peers so he could be with everyone else. But I was told, you're too aggressive. You're too direct. You're too single-minded. You're too unrealistic about your son's future. I was defiant in my response. You don't know the future for my son. You have no idea what's gonna happen with him. Don't place your limits on my son. Whenever you fall, he'll catch you. You can be brave to do the things you do. Whenever you call, he'll hear you. You are his child and he is the one who loves you.